Back in 2017, way before COVID swept the lands, YouTube was hit with its own pandemic, YouTuber diss tracks. And much like the COVID-19 pandemic, it kind of feels like we're brushing over it, moving on a bit too quickly, and not really discussing what happened. Well, at least one of those things ends today. In this video, we're going to be discussing the short-lived but extremely popular YouTube diss track era. We're going to be listening to some of the most popular diss tracks and talk about how YouTubers and celebrities making music and whether or not they can be harmful to small musicians, people trying to make their career in music. Hi guys, my name is Finley, and welcome back to Rosefire Records, a channel dedicated to supporting independent artists and creatives. Micah's back. Hi. Hey, Micah. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little... Mm. Yeah, I'm back. Um, ready to break down some rice gum, you know what I'm saying? The genius <laughs> behind the bars, you know? Yeah, and mm. on the other side, who we got? Hey, guys. Got Cade here. All, all I know is uh, Machine Gun Kelly did like a thing one time. He's not on the list either. Whoa. <laughs> Missing all the OGs. Hey, guys. I'm Ani. I'm ready to go back in time a couple of years and really relive this YouTube drama hell we lived through. Dude, I feel the same way. So we're going to start with uh, one of the original viral diss tracks. When we were doing prep for this video... <laughs> I played it for Logan, and he said he didn't even realize it was a diss track. He just thought it was a song. What do you all know about uh, Millie B and BG Media? No Millie Bobby idea. Brown? No. <laughs> <laughs> Millie B. BG Media was an incredible channel. It was literally a bunch of kids spitting the most atrocious bars oh God. you have mm. ever heard in your life. Oh, yeah. So this is Millie B and BG Media dissing each other? No, this is Millie B dissing Sophie Aspen. Sophie Aspen. Okay, I know. Damn. Who that is. Wait, so it's not Millie Bobby Brown? No, who <laughs> said who said Millie Bobby Brown? I already hate it. If you don't know me, I'm M to the B, coming in hard, you it's better watch supposed to be up on there. Oh, I know, M to the B, M to the B, yeah. M to the B's here, step in line, to lend you a blender, I'm being serious, I'm not trying to... Be go crazy, bro, not even Kevin. I can't understand her accent. This is insane, bro. I get it. We all know the best MC, it's M to the B, it's M to the B, it's M, 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 M to the B, it's M to the B, it's M to the B. Oh, this is where that fucking TikTok came from from I thought you were gonna figure that it's out actually kind of sick no I did in the beginning I had an inkling she made Bella Porch famous bro right there <laughs> honestly honestly yeah I I will say this and I will go on record to say I think the beat went crazy the beat did go crazy and it reminded me maybe it's just because of the accent or whatever you guys know that meme where the girl's like how do you not know how to flush a toilet after you've had a shit it's like, it wasn't me <laughs> Fuck you or whatever, you know, like the well, I have no well, idea. Well it was fucking one of you. Yes. It was one of yes. Weirdly though, like that like that sort of UK like house stuff is like kinda coming back. Like mm. and it's coming into the States at least, like yeah. pretty mm -hmm. heavily. It's I think it's sad that people focus so much of their energy on stuff like this rather than focusing on musicians who are really putting out like good music and stuff like that. I don't think it really takes away like that much from anybody. It's mm. just some like stupid shit. Like think about you can't really blame anybody though cuz they're just giving the people what they want. Yeah. It's like you can't get mad at anybody except for the viewers, I feel like. You and know? like I feel like as a musician, I'm not going to waste my time sitting here like complaining about the way that what reality is. And the reality of the fact is that people are attracted to stupid shit and that's like the industry that I have to be in sometimes. Yeah. And it's my job as a musician to overcome that rather than sitting here complaining about how I'm upset that they're getting more views than me. Uh, we're going to move on to one of the most iconic diss tracks from the era, from one of the most iconic YouTubers mm. of the era. The man who both started the YouTuber on YouTuber diss track violence and also holds the record for most scams done against his audience <laughs> is Rice Gum. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Going into this, this, I want to say I know nothing of Rice Gum. I've always, every single time I've seen him, I've been like, "Man, he corny, bro." But isn't he mostly like a gamer? Yeah, so here's the gainer. thing. This is why I wanted to talk about him because yes, he is a gamer. Yeah. But he actually like got his original like success on YouTube writing diss tracks about himself. 
Like Aww. using um, <laughs> he needs to work on his self confidence. <laughs> <laughs> like using uh, hate fuck, comments. Why hate, why hate you? Why hate you? It's just like, and everyone's like, "This is good." <laughs> He's like, I, hate I hate it. I hate you know. Hey man, that's the epitome of emo music. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought we could have we could have gone easy and just done like it's every day, bro, by mm. Jake Paul. Okay, but yeah. I never liked that one. So this is it's every night, sis. <laughs> Well, that's clever. <laughs> this guy. I wasn't about to go in, but like now I feel like I have to, you know. I already hate it, dude. Like, I, I know that just feel already like made bad, it so like, bad. Heard you used to bully kids back in high school. Second part for the kill. That's what guys do. Hit it to Damn, whoa, that whoa, line whoa, just whoa. didn't fit anywhere. It's just so. And I heard you were a bully. Let's go back to the bully thing. Listen here. No, don't Once go back. Don't go back. Go back. <laughs> Once was bad enough. Okay, I have so much to say, bro. Okay, like, first of all, half of that song was, yo, you're a bully, bro. Like, you <laughs> suck, bro. Like, you know, like, I can't believe that you bully people. Also, your head built like Phineas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, do you not get the irony of how stupid you're, like, that's so dumb. It is Another a bit thing, ironic. too, that's really f so funny about that is that girl at the end saying, oh, yeah, your brother's a better kisser, though. And it's like, you're just looking like such a buffoon. Like, yeah, <laughs> you're basically saying, yeah, I've kissed you and your brother. That was uh, Alicia Violet. I have no clue who that is. I don't oh, care. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's who that was? Yeah. I don't know who that is. She was um, like, uh, she was one of the, I think she was in the original Everyday Bro video. How dumb do you have to be to be like, like your, your brother's a great kisser and so are you, but like he's better. Yeah, maybe I'm looking too far. Yeah. I'm just saying that. I will say, 200 million views. Oh, wow. I think they're doing something right. No, they aren't, though. <laughs> That's the problem. How do you write a this song about another person bullying, and then, like, the rest of the song is you bullying that other person? I mean, the thing that just bothered me about it is it reminded me of, like, those, like, classes that you had to go to in, like, middle school where they were, like, Bullying is bad. Yeah. You know, it was just like so like <laughs> I it reminded me of like my English teacher like standing up for like the little nerdy kid being like, hey, don't do that. <laughs> Kate, I think we all know that you were the little nerdy kid, okay? I was <laughs> not. I was the bully. Like, just so you know. No, I I'm like, I'm, like, I'm wearing a leather jacket right now. <laughs> I was not a nerd in high school. Are but, we doing distracts? Is that what yeah, this we, is? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're doing our Yo, own. Kane, you think you were a bully, but you're not. Instead, you look like a <laughs> bowl of melted pot. That sounds pretty good. All right, damn. Guess I gotta go in now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't want to make me do this, but now I guys, got we it. don't have the budget for a big house and a bunch of Lambos for this. Okay, <laughs> we do though. Uh, the the whole thing is just corny because I remember listening to "It's Every Day, Bro," and this one came out right after, and it's basically just line for line a reply. Oh, you said. Um, this and this, I'm going to say this and this, replying to that line, it wasn't anything new or it wasn't anything that was... Yeah, they just tried to make an exact exactly, answer to everything yeah. that they it said. Felt yeah. Very, yeah. It, it was just a worse forced. version. Yeah. Imitation like, is the highest form cringe. of flattery too. Oh. Mm. <laughs> We're going to move on to yeah, the third and final diss track. And this diss track, it ended the diss track era. I'm not joking. Have any of you guys heard of Quadeca? Yeah. So, mm. he w when he was coming out, he was not big, but he was making enough of a splash right. that he was mentioned in a Sidemen video. And KSI took an uncalled for, unasked for swing at him in the video, being like, I'm better than that kid. Like, And Kordeka released this diss track. And while KSI did respond to the diss track with mm. a, his own diss track, it was nowhere near as good. If you look at that video, all the comments, even are, even are people being like, I'm a KSI fan, but this is not as good as Cordeco's one. I haven't heard this. I'm this is Cordeco with Insecure. Yeah, fuck that shit. Yeah. You tell him, bro. Hairline so fucked up, your barber is take I'm 18, making main stage. I'm 18 and a virgin in the basement making rape faces. And now you really think your music is... What is... What? You say rape faces? Logan Paul, come and film this. I think I just killed a man. I like that one. This one has like somewhat catchy flows, so I'll give him that.
I feel like the first half would have been better if the beat just wasn't so cheesy. Yeah, I it wasn't such say, a stereotypical early two thousands like hip hop. Yeah, beat. I wish I haven't listened to it in a while. Loki, some of the some of the um, delivery is kind of cheesy yeah, as fuck. I'm not so gonna lie. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but at the time, this shit fucking ended KSI for like a month and a half. All these comments were just like Quadeca better. We have to remember this is a different time on the internet. And the one thing I will say is I know Quadeca because not from this era, but I actually knew him as. A musician and an artist, mm-hmm. and he's put out albums now that are like crazy. No, like, his newest album is fucking like, ridiculous, psychedelic, like orchestral, like super, super cool stuff. Um, that goes way, and it just shows that he's also grown and changed. Yeah, I was mm-hmm. gonna say, yeah, he launched off the back of this uh song, blew the fuck up, uh, but he doesn't post on YouTube anymore. He's like an artist like now. An artist, artist. No, but at the time when that shit came out, I was sitting in my bedroom like, oh shit, he's going crazy, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's, um, that's what the that's what they did at the time. I mean, that's what those videos are for. And this is the thing I will say is like, YouTube has always consistently been a really great place for independent artists to grow. Sean Mendez, I was about that's to how say. Justin Bieber, that's how like probably a bunch of those are the ones that come to my head. But okay. it's like it's a really great platform for people to advance their career but i think that's with growth anywhere you yeah. look back and you think yeah that's how you realize you've yeah. gone far yeah, you know? so i listened to my music cool. when i was like 17 exactly. i don't want to hear that you know no yeah. there were a few other diss track i put that one in there because i still think it's good right uh there were a few other ones that i remember at the time thinking like oh my god this is crazy and then last night when i was doing research for the video i went back and watched them and i was like <laughs> i liked this when yeah. i was wait can i there was one that I remembered being like, when it came out, I remembered being like, oh my god, this is so good. And I listened to it last night. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, I remember this video, this song being so good. <laughs> oh, I remember right, this one. For an English I remember this. I never listened listen to any of these, bro. Big up Nick Crompton. Wait, try not Take to cringe challenge. Dad. Everyone, don't cringe. Another. Your best friend is probably your mother. Seen your dad's dick, you make me feel sick. And didn't you shower with your brother? <laughs> you talk about Jay as a monster. Who's not the one that I'm after? Tweet about us on life support. Ooh. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was a little rough. That why, was a little rough. Why does every diss track ever just go for the hairline? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can call that. I remember these being so good. And now we're going back. I'm like. Yeah. That's kind of ass. No, I yeah, I like what Micah you're saying. Like, it's a really hard to make a diss track that isn't cringy because diss tracks in general are just the fact that it's a diss track. It's already cringy. Ani, do you have anything to say? You could say no. Just, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> Looking back on these funny haha moments of the internet, I was never like that into YouTube at the time. I like was a huge fan of NF when he first started. And, but I'm not against NF. I'm not against him either, but I feel like that there's a lot of music that plays themes for the sake of being like, like, oh, you want to understand? Like, oh, I'm like yeah. dark. And yeah. like, 20, the 21 Pilots effect. That's totally no, true. Yeah. Like, it's like, looking back at it now, I think that we've all grown up with the internet. But it's like, we're going now and it's like, the thing is, I think also that just like the quality of music on YouTube has gone up so much. That's true. You know, it's like no one thinks of Quadeca as a YouTube music. I think the other big one is Aries. Yeah, totally. Aries came from, but no one thinks of him as because he got so good that he just surpassed it. You right. know? Yeah. And now he's like, he doesn't need YouTube anymore. Well, that's the yeah. thing. It's the difference of people who are YouTubers who are trying to make music versus musicians who or, are on YouTube. Right? Yeah. They're oh, yeah. Totally, big difference. totally two different things. And it that was the thing on YouTube in this era where people who were realized that music was a really good way to get views. So YouTubers would try and be musicians, and that's where it was cringe. Yeah. yeah. Where it's not cringe is where you have musicians who are on YouTube making music. Right. And sure they maybe did a diss track to hop on the trend, but what came from that was their career. My my I believe that uh it's negative because it kind of creates a precedent where why would a label invest in a small artist as uh, someone who is like growing their audience but yeah. needs time and money and investment when they can sign fucking KSI? Go number one. Right. Mm. You know? Yeah. Honestly, I think it was a much needed stepping stone for a lot of things. Not the rap game, not the music you know, not that Jake stuff. The rap game. How did this affect LeBron's <laughs> legacy? <laughs> <laughs> but I think it was it was a good 
reminder of how saturated YouTube was at the time. So I think now being that interconnected, it's nice for music on YouTube to shine. <laughs> and I mean, it's just a constant run-on sentence. What do, you, <laughs> what do you have to get? Like the word count? <laughs> <laughs> Like, there's so many inside on these grid right now just hitting the center on their auto complete <laughs> just saying. Like, keep going keep going keep going yeah i guess it's just all the more reason for you as an artist to try to not rely on labels and things like that because it's an unfortunate truth of the reality of the world that we mm. live in as musicians is that labels are always going to go for what benefits them the most they're not going to go for what's right from a moral standpoint, you know? It's like, it's a, so it's just all the more reason for independent artists to kind of just join together and hold hands and, um, no, not literally. Kane, <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't want to make a, you don't want to make a hand-holding circle? <laughs> to just join together and hold hands. on this case, 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 case. <laughs> 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 um, All right. <laughs> on that note, I guess, my new uh, Micah diss track coming out March 15th. <laughs> Call call us, stay tuned. Called you hold hands like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Can we actually do that? Can we have diss tracks for each other? Oh, yeah, yeah. Are See, what like, I'm going to do is I'm going to make a beat, and then I'm going to completely ignore the beat. I'm just going to talk about everything I hate about you. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Spoken no flow word. to it whatsoever. <laughs> An eight bar like, thing, and then just cuts out, and then it's like... Yo, hey man, I like really hate like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can find me on Instagram at Finley did it because who did it? Finley. Finley. Did it. That's right. Finley. Thanks. You can find Rocheville Records at Rocheville Records on Instagram, at Rocheville Records on Twitter, at Rocheville Records on TikTok, and at www.rocheville.com. Uh, you can find our Discord uh, in the link down below. We're trying to hit 200 people. We hit 150 already. We're coming up on 175. So Whoa. we're going to try and hit 200 uh, in uh, the next yeah. couple weeks. Woo! We should here every Wednesday at 6 to 8 p.m. PST. Yep. Be there or be somewhere else. I don't really care. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you in the next video. The camera's about to run out of battery. She's going to go fast. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.